It happened in medieval Japan. There was a great warrior who went to his Zen master and asked him, Master, I wish to become the lord of the land, the daimyo. Bless me. And he presented a beautiful sword, a bejeweled katana, to the Zen master. The Zen master laughed. He kept the sword aside. He looked the warrior in the eye and said, I saw you 20 years ago. You used to be a very good warrior. There was the light within you. Now you've simply become an idiot. Leave all this wanting to be the daimyo, the Lord. Be like the Buddha. The Buddha found enlightenment sitting under the tree. Be like the Sakura blossom. Meditate on the cherry blossoms falling from the tree. Your life is just like that. One day it is there, all beautiful. The next day it is gone. Yet, make the maximum of those few moments. Don't waste it. A cherry blossom is happy being a cherry blossom. She does not have to become a daimyo or lord of the land. And you will only be a big, great warrior if you take joy in these small things. You'll become greater and greater. Else, you'll just remain an idiot. Don't be on an ego trip and then you become the greatest warrior. The warrior took this lesson to his heart, became an example of warriorhood all around the land. And similarly, Krishna tells Arjun the same thing in the Bhagavad Gita. Arjun asks him, what is the mark, the characteristic of a self-realized person? Krishna says the self-realized person walks, talks, eats, fights, does everything with a certain grace, serenity, simplicity, not through ego. And doing that, one becomes proficient in whatever one does. That is the secret of warriorhood.